Hi there, I'm Brian, I'm a cosplayer from Wellington, New Zealand, and I'm here with Lonely Mountain Media for a shoot. So, my first cosplay of this shoot today uh, is Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. He's a character that I have uh, grown to love quite a bit, and has been recommended to me as a cosplay to do. So naturally, after I gave it a bit of consideration, I decided Screw it, why not? The cosplay came together during the 2020 pandemic. Naturally, the shirt itself was something I found on Trade Me that was actually from overseas, which took months to get in. It's been heavily weathered. Further down, it's really dirty looking. And that just comes out with shoe polish. Um, all of the leather accessories that I've got, some are made, some are, are bought. Uh, the hat was purchased, it was originally brown, I had to replace the uh, band that goes around it with the more accurate leather uh, style cord um, to get that look. Uh, dyed the entire thing black and weathered it heavily as well. Braces are new, they're actually a replacement for my old ones which were more accurate but way too large. Pants are new as well because I had the opposite problem, they were a bit too tight because they're meant to be high waisted and I didn't think about that. Going back to the leather though, the holster that I have on my right hip, that one I purchased along with the belt. The belt has been modified to have a different buckle, um, and the other holster that I have, uh, which is on the left, that was one that I made. The shoulder bag I made myself um, out of some scrap leather that I managed to find uh, at one of our local shops. So I made the sheath uh, as well, um, which is on the right hand side, out of leather out of more of those leather straps, it's a bit great. It's a bit softer than I would have liked though, but you, know, you work with what you can. Uh, and as well as on the back, there's a whole bunch of um, loops for bullet casings, which I've actually got with real ammunition that I fired back in my youth that I have kept and put dummy heads in as a prop for it. So all in all, it's a really good cosplay that I enjoy doing. I've got a numerous amount of props for these. Three of these props were made by my good friend Louie at Nightlight Workshop. He's made both my revolvers and my lever action rifle for this uh, cosplay. Uh, he does fantastic work. If you ever need something, hit him up. He's, he's brilliant. And here we are with the third cosplay of the day. Another variant of the Tenth Doctor. So here I've got my lovely blue suit, which I think I look quite good in, <laughs> so I've been told. Going with a variant specific to the waters of Mars for this look. So this is one of three different suits that I have. I've used another one before today. And yeah, it's just a really fun and easy cosplay to wear. It's nice and comfy. And here we are at the, at the bunkers. And here's the fourth and final of the uh, cosplayers for today on the shoot. Uh, obviously, Captain America to end it all. Uh, so, lovely suit that I bought from White Cheap Leather. Did a lot of work weathering it and getting it just right. But I'm still not happy with everything, so I'm going to upgrade it a little further. Uh, the helmet was from Jordan's Ironic Armory. Absolutely fantastic job. I love it. Thanks.
Yes, this is me, Brian, and I've had a lovely bit of fun out here today um, doing this shoot. It's been absolutely fantastic, and feel free to give me a follow on Out of the Box Cosplay. Thank you.